Hi everyone, it's Brittany and Katie with the Cue Team in Rochester, New York. We're back this week to talk to our current homeowners um, and we have a question for you. So a lot of current owners who want to sell um, have hesitations around where are they gonna go? Like, what does that look like? Um, so we wanna ask you if you had a buyer that was willing to give you as much time as you needed, uh, would you still sell? So I have some great ideas. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not funny. Um, no, sorry. Thank you, thank you. Um, it needed to be addressed because we've been in front of this light bulb forever. I've just been sitting here distracted by this light bulb of my head with so all no my good ideas. ideas. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> just kidding. The video topic <laughs> is, if you are a seller, would you sell if a buyer gave you as much time as you needed? That's such a good question because most of our current homeowners, past clients, people that we know that have homes right now that are thinking of making a move in the semi near future. Mm -hmm. You know, their their biggest concern is that, you know, where am I gonna go? What am, you know, what am I gonna do? I don't wanna list quite yet if I don't know my plans moving forward. Right. Um, so we have, you know, kind of addressed this and been a little bit creative to figure out, you know, okay, how can we utilize the fact that we are in a solid market and the sellers are really in the driver's seat right. to make sure that we put you in a position to be able to figure that out and also know that your house is sold and what it's gonna be sold right. for. So kind of explain how we do that. So I actually have a lot of people who, um, you know, they bought three or five years ago and that's generally when they start to get the itch to move again. Given now a lot of people are working from home, um, some families are growing, They a lot of people have outgrown their home mm -hmm. that they've been in. Um, or just get the itch to move because they've been in their house for a year straight at this point. <laughs> like, I need um, something new. <laughs> so what, 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 what the, they have to buy in a seller's market as well. So mm -hmm. yes, great that they get to take advantage of, you know, the higher prices and mm -hmm. the competition, but at the same time, they are also going to experience the competition when they go to purchase. So what does that look like? like is it even possible for them to? And the answer is yes. Um, mm -hmm. We are finding that a lot of buyers are in a position right now. Or putting themselves in a position. Or, right, mm -hmm. setting themselves up to be able to be in a position where they can give these sellers ultimately as much time as they need to find something. Mm -hmm. So either they can close and allow the sellers to rent back so that they can negotiate non-contingent when they purchase mm -hmm. or um, close and, you know, give them X number of days or, um, you know, mm -hmm. an open ended mm -hmm. with some far date mm -hmm. um, as an end point or, you know, wait to close, but say, you know, instead of doing a six to eight week close, we'll, we'll push the closing out so that you know you have a buyer secured. We know that we have a house secured, mm -hmm. um, but you still have that flexibility to essentially not be homeless. Right. And Who wants to be homeless? No one. <laughs> we won't leave you homeless. Right. Um, but really, I mean, a lot of sellers, you know, for their comfort level too, have been, we've been considering listing, making it subject to them finding suitable housing. So essentially, you know, in previous, markets we like, like previous you know, decades de that's what that's i was about extreme. to say I'm like not quite that long it feels like that but um you know buyers would buy contingent so it's kind of a little bit on the flip end where yeah. sellers are essentially selling their house contingent mm -hmm. and they're that's selling it contingent on them finding something so basically they're saying yes i'm accepting your offer the buyers are going to give you you know x amount of time whether it maybe it's 30 days mm -hmm. to find suitable housing so basically they're saying all right we want to move forward with your house we're going to give you a specific amount of time to figure out where you're going, whether that's buying something new or finding a rental or figuring right. out, you know, how you want to shake that out, um, which is similar to when a buyer would buy, they'd say, I'm going to buy your house, but I need 30 days to sell that's mine. mine. Right. Um, so it's a kind of the flip reverse of that. Um, but that has been a way that sellers are finding they, they can take advantage of this market while it is still as limited inventory wise as it is so they can really really make top dollar right. know for sure that their house is sold and what it's gonna be sold for because some unless you until you put it out there you don't know you might be working with an extra 30 grand of equity right. that you weren't planning on that mm -hmm. might change what your price change range for it right <laughs> um so all of those factors to be able to put it out there and really make it happen for you so that you can make that move that ultimately is your goal then we're finding that that's the most successful way to do it. I would say that probably, you know, within my sphere of people that I'm talking to, um, a lot of them are our age. Mm -hmm. um, and they say, yes, Katie, I do want to take advantage of this market, but where the heck am I going to go? Mm -hmm. um, and that's just a common story for everybody that's selling right now. 
that isn't like moving out of state or an uh, estate sale or yeah. right yeah. yeah yeah so really <laughs> I mean that's it's common yeah and that's that's kind of the ultimate thing is you know the more sellers we get to put their house up there and make this happen for them so that they can make a move the more this will essentially be kind of a domino effect where the inventory increases. There's more options for them to choose mm -hmm. from to be able to figure out where they're going and it can help balance the market out a little bit. Yeah. So, you know, essentially, if you are kind of on that fence thinking, I want to move, but I don't know necessarily how to do it to make sure that I'm not, you know, just selling my house and left homeless. Yeah. We have, we would love to talk through these options with you and figure out what makes the most sense mm -hmm. so that you can take advantage while the market is as hot as it is. And, and not every scenario will make sense for mm -hmm. a homeowner that's thinking about selling, but the fact that there are several different options to choose from and gives, safety a, good, nets. And gives a good indication mm -hmm. that there is probably some avenue that you can take as a seller um, to put you in the best position. Yep. All, all the way around right. to sell and to buy. And making sure that you're, we're protecting you to ensure that you're, you know where you're going. I can't <laughs> stop though. <laughs> all right, I need to move. <laughs> We need to go. <laughs> All right. So if you found this helpful, if you were thinking of maybe making a move within the next, you know, even year or two, mm -hmm. let's sit down and talk now. We can kind of talk through all these options, figure out when, when and how and what makes the most sense for you. Or if you know someone that's thinking of moving, send them our video, have them message us or reach out um, 900-1111, sharingq.com, Facebook, Instagram, you know, wherever you want to find us. You can find us. You can find us. We're out there. <laughs> um, and we would love to talk to them to kind of work through all this with them. Mm -hmm.